What the even? Hi and welcome to Callie and Callie. I'm Callie and I'm glad you're here. Today we're doing this candy corn inspired look for the Halloween season for people who maybe don't want to be over the top all the time. Uh, I hear some people like to be subtle. Go figure. This is a great look for people who have to work on Halloween or for normal people who want to be festive but not over the top. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not new, don't forget to subscribe and let's just get into it. Okay, so I have my full foundation, concealer, powder, contour routine done. However you normally do your face, that's what you should do. Um, and then I finished one side so we could just go ahead and get started on the other. The first thing I did was take a white eyeshadow base and put it all over the lid. You're going to want to take it under as well. The next thing you want to do is take a white eyeshadow. Um, any white shadow will do and just cover everything in white. With that same eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna go in with this yellow, and I'm gonna take it just in the middle, from about where your iris starts through to where your iris ends. Then I'm just gonna fade it out into this outside crease. I'm gonna take it under the eye as well, trying to keep it lined up as much as possible. Got a little bit of fallout, I'm just gonna wipe that away. Now, for an orange, I have this Milani orange in Bella Mandarin, number 27. It's just an orange eyeshadow, any orange eyeshadow would do. I honestly wish this was a little bit more pigmented, so we're just going to go in with this first in the outer third. I'm going to pull it through the crease just a little bit. I'm going to take it under the eye as well, just the outer third. And because I wasn't happy with the level of pigmentation on that, I did go ahead and go in with this NYX palette, this orange here, which is more of like a corally burnt orange, but I just think the two together really make a nice color. Just gonna go over that orange again. Don't forget to go under. Okay, I know we took the white all the way up, um, which is fine, but I do wanna tone it down under the eyebrow because I want the white to really pop here. So just with any kind of skin tone, light brown color, you're just gonna wanna take that from your crease all the way up to your eyebrow. And you can smoke the orange out just a little. So just to make the yellow pop, I'm gonna tap a little bit more yellow just on top. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line using just a black eyeliner. On the bottom, I'm only bringing it about a little less than halfway through to keep the eye open. Do this weird thing. I'm gonna use a liquid liner to give myself a little tiny bit of a flick, and I'll be right back. Okay, whew, you know I need my privacy for that. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is curl your eyelashes if that's a thing you're comfortable with. I know a lot of people are not comfortable with that. If you're not, just put on mascara. <laughs> if you wanna get crazy, put on false lashes. Today I'm just doing a curled, lash with a couple of coats of mascara. I'm gonna take care of that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done one coat of this um, volumizing mascara on this eye. I like to build it a little bit more just to give it a little bit more oomph, if you will. So I'm gonna do another coat of this. Okay, so that's two coats of that mascara. I'm now gonna add two coats of another mascara. Okay, that's mascara done. I am now just gonna fill in my eyebrow for that. I like to use a powder and just an angled brush. I'm gonna go in with this darker brown from this NYX palette and I'm gonna go really light. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of blush. I have this Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink. It's kind of a nice coral color. Just gonna add to the apples in my cheeks here. And now I wanna go in with just a little bit of a highlight. I'm gonna go in with Glow Getter. It's a nice kind of warm tone. It's right up here on the cheekbone. Into the temple a little bit. Oh no, it's just a little bit. Just a little on the lip. And now we just need a lip. I think a berry lip is really nice for this eyeshadow look. So I'm going in with, what is this? This is an NYC jokes on me. This is NYC in the color Comedian. Ha ha ha, you're right. 
And I, this is more of a lip stain, so I'm not gonna bother lighting my lips. Okay, I added the gloss. Um, you can leave it matte if you want. You can add some gloss if you want. It's really up to you. That is the final candy corn inspired makeup look. Oh, actually, wait, hold on, I have a little thing. Okay, now that completes the look. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful and useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Why am I doing this? Whew, what? Girl, shh. Her... Well, the guy owns that now. Okay, now that completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. Are you kidding me? Laundry. I live by the laundry room. Thanks for watching. Bye.